Ad running in every media market in Wisconsin asks questions directly at the governor, questioning his reasoning for keeping the state under the safer at home order. But the ad needs some context. Amy Reed has this News 3 Now reality check. Governor Evers, you extended the lockdown for our state until May 26. This ad is running all over Wisconsin, posing four questions of Governor Evers. Why did you extend the lockdown when we are far below your original projections for cases and deaths? This is true. We are far below original projections, though it's very important to note that those original projections were if we did nothing to intervene. But we are well below even projections made on April 24th, which is where the data on this graph comes from. In the information on its model, DHS projected in this table summary that we'll have 373,800 cumulative cases by May 1st, accounting for two months of safer at home. We had 7,314. Did you factor in the recent scientific studies that thankfully have shown the risk of death from coronavirus is substantially below what was originally feared? This is misleading. I spoke with Eric over the phone and he told me this is based off studies in Santa Clara, California, and in Germany. The studies used antibody testing to determine the infection fatality rate in those communities. One hasn't been peer reviewed, and another drew conclusions other scientists cautioned couldn't be made. A third is a study at the University of Bonn in Germany. The lead on the research said it calculated the COVID-19 infection fatality rate for the first time and found it to be between 0.24 and 0.43 percent. It also found the infection rate in the area of Germany that it studied was around 15 percent, five times higher than what they originally thought. This goes back to reports that you can have coronavirus and be asymptomatic and never know it. Authors cautioned extrapolating this data too far, though. They studied an area that had a, quote, super spreading event, a festival. And one author said, our findings can only, to a limited extent, be applied to the rest of Germany or other countries. But the study offers starting points for follow-up research. You were also legitimately concerned about our hospitals getting overrun. However, did you recognize that never occurred? And most hospitals are now empty. It's true that hospitals did not get overrun, but it's false that most are now empty. The data we have here is a one-day snapshot of information voluntarily provided by hospitals on the DHS website. Statewide, it says 31% of beds are available. Regionally, the most beds available by percentage is in northwest Wisconsin, with 44% available. We know the risk for heart attacks, strokes, suicides, and drug overdoses all increase significantly when people are jobless or under financial stress. This is mostly true. I couldn't find a study to expressly support a relationship between drug overdoses and unemployment, but there are studies that show risk for heart attack, stroke, and suicide all rise with unemployment. For those suffering right now, there is help out there. We'll link you to that, as well as the resources that we used in this research on our website, channel3000.com. For this News 3 Now Reality Check, I'm Amy Reed.